Hello students, welcome back to Bosco Campus Vision. In the last session, we discussed about fundamental analysis. And in this session, we are moving on to the very first step of fundamental analysis, that is economy analysis. So the performance of a company depends on the performance of the economy. If the economy is booming, income rises, demand for goods increases and hence the industries and companies in generally tend to be prosperous. On the other hand, if the economy is in a recession, the performance of companies will be generally bad. So here the performance of a particular company is dependent upon the performance of its economy. If the economy is in a good state, then the company will be also in a prosperous and good state. And if the economy is in recession, the performance of the companies will be affected and thereby the company's performance also will be bad. So investors are concerned with those variables in the economy which affect the performance of the company in which they intend to invest. A study of these economic variables would give an idea about future corporate earnings and payments of dividend and interest to investors. So there are various variables in the economy which affect the performance of a company. So an investor need to analyze all these variables before he invests in a particular company. And this study on various variables affecting the performance of the company is known as economy analysis. So some of the economic variables to be monitored are growth rate of national income, inflation rates, interest rates, government revenue expenditure and deficits, exchange rates, infrastructure, monsoon and economic and political stability. So the first economic variable is growth rate of national income. The growth rate of GDP, NNP, GNP indicates the growth rate of the economy. So GDP is considered as the main factor which indicates the growth rate of the economy. Higher the GDP, higher will be the growth rate and lower the GDP, lower will be the growth rate. Unfortunately, our country is now having a lower rate of GDP. So while analyzing the growth rate of the economy, an investor would determine the stage of economy through which the economy is passing. An economy typically passes through four stages of economic or business cycle. So while analyzing the growth rate, we should also or an investor should also consider the stage of economy. An economy has mainly four stages. The first one is depression stage, which is the worst stage in the economy where the demand will be low, inflation will be high interest will be high and the production will be low and the next stage is recovery stage where say revival after depression so as the name suggests it is a recovery stage where the demands pick up and the production increases and the employment also increases and the next stage is the boom stage which is the best stage with high demand in this stage, the investments will be high as well as the profit also will be high. There will be high demand for the products and it is considered as the best stage in the economic cycle. And the last stage is the recession stage, which is a profit declining stage. So after a particular period, the boom stage gradually slows down and the profit starts declining. There will be decrease in demand. There will be production of production and employment. So all these factors tend to decrease in this particular stage. So before investing, an investor need to analyze the particular stage through which the economy is currently passing and make an investment decision according to it. So the next economic variable is inflation. Higher rates of inflation upset business plans, leads to cost escalation and result in a squeeze on profit margins. Thus, High inflation are likely to affect the performance of the companies adversely. Industries and companies prosper during times of low inflation. Inflation is measured using WPI and CPI. So inflation is the term for the government. So higher inflation is there will be a gradual increase in the cost and thereby the business plan and the profit margins will get reduced and thereby these affect the performance of the companies adversely. 
but the industries and companies prosper during the times of low inflation so or investor ne sambandhichu invest cheyan petti better time low inflation time aanu because the investment made during that time will be a perfect one because the industries and companies prosper during that time so too much inflation and too much deflation is considered to be bad a steady inflation or a low inflation will be a better for the economy and inflation is measured using wholesale price index and consumer price index so an investor should evaluate the inflation rate prevailing in the economy currently as also the ten- trend of inflation likely to prevail in future so the investor should analyze and evaluate the current and the future trend of the inflation rate before his investment is done next we have the interest rates interest rate determine the cost and availability of credit for companies operating in an economy a low interest rate stimulates investment by making credit available easily and cheaply on the contrary higher interest rate result in higher cost of production which may lead to lower profitability and lower demand so credit is an important factor which determine the operating or better operating of a company in its economy so for a credit if the interest is lower then it stimulates the investment by making credit available cheaply and easily but if the interest rates are higher the cost of production increases and it leads to lower profitability and lower demand so it will be better for an investor to invest in an economy which have a lower interest rate an investor has to consider the interest rates prevailing in the different segments of the economy and evaluate their impact on the performance and profitability of the companies next we have government revenue expenditure and deficit when government expenditure exceeds its revenue there occurs a deficit so expenditure nu parayumbol nammude chelavum revenue nu parayumbol varavum aanu so or government expenditure revenue ne exceed cheyyanengil adine nammal vilikkunnadana deficit ennu in more financial terms it means a loss and in this concept this deficit is known as a budget deficit All developing countries suffer from budget deficit as government spend large amount of money to build up infrastructure. So our India is a developing country and it is said that all developing countries have a deficit budget because they spend a large amount of money for building up its infrastructure. So the budget document which is presented annually contains the detailed information on each item of government expenditure and revenue and the resulting deficit. So an investor before investing has to evaluate these carefully to assess their impact on his investments. So it is said that investor can make a better investment decision if he carefully analyzes the budget documents of the particular company before he makes an investment decision. The next important economic variable is the exchange rate. The exchange rate of the rupee are influenced by the balance of trade deficit, balance of payment deficit and also the foreign exchange reserves of the country. So balance of payment and balance of trade are the two factors which influence the exchange rate of a country. So balance of payment represents the overall transactions in an economy such as trade services and other capital transactions and a balance of payment consists of mainly two accounts current account and capital account and balance of trade is included in the current account of balance of payments so when balance of payment shows the list of overall transactions in an economy balance of trade shows the total exports and imports of a country and the excess of this imports over exports is called balance of trade deficit currently our country is having a balance of trade deficit as we have more imports than exports and the foreign exchange reserves is another factor which influence the exchange rate of a country and compared to 1991 we ha- now have a better foreign exchange reserve in our country so an analysis of the balance of trade deficit balance of payment deficit and the foreign exchange reserve will help to project the future trends in exchange rate so doing an analysis on these factors will help the investor to make a better investment decision and thereby achieve a better return 
Next is infrastructure. The development of an economy depends very much on the infrastructure available. The availability of infrastructural facilities such as power, transportation and communication system affect the performance of companies. So availability of good infrastructural facilities such as power, transportation and other communication system affect the performance of the company. Such that it affects in a good way. If the bad infrastructure facilities are available, it leads to inefficiency, lower productivity, wastage and delays. So the availability of bad infrastructure facilities can even lead to the shutdown of a company. So an investor should access the status of the infrastructural facilities available in the economy before finalizing the investment plans. So if the infrastructural facilities are not good, it will gradually or slowly affect the performance of the companies and thereby lead to a great loss to the company. So an investor should wisely think about the infrastructural facilities available before he makes an investment plan to a particular company. The next main economic variable to be monitored is monsoon. The Indian economy is essentially an agrarian economy and agriculture forms a very important sector of the Indian economy. So most of the industrial sectors are dependent on the agriculture sector of Indian economy. So it is known as an agrarian economy. Because of the strong forward and backward language linkages between agriculture and industry, performance of several industries and companies are dependent on the performance of agriculture. So as many industries are dependent on agriculture and agriculture is solely dependent on monsoon, it is necessary to consider or monitor monsoon as an important economic variable. So here the progress and adequacy of the monsoon becomes a matter of great concern for an investor in the Indian context. So in India, because of this agrarian feature, monsoon is considered to be an important factor because the growth of the agricultural sector mainly depends on the monsoon season, which gradually affect the various industrial sectors of the Indian economy. So the last and another important economic variable is the economic and political stability. A stable political environment is necessary for the steady and balanced growth. No industry or company can grow and prosper in the midst of political turmoil. Stable long-term economic policies are what are needed for industrial growth. So a stable government with clear-cut long-term economic policies will be conductive to good performance of the economy. So an economy with political stability is required for the better performance of the company. So if the economic policies and government policies tend to change gradually, then that will adversely affect the performance of the companies. So it is necessary to have a better political and economical environment in the economy for the better survival and growth of the companies. So an investor should analyze this political stability prevailing in the economy before making his investment decision. So these are some of the important economic variables to be monitored in an economy analysis. We will continue with another portion of economy analysis in the next session. Thank you.